Hey guys, this is Wolf King Aka from Super Shy Guy Gaming, and I'm here to check out the new RPG Maker Fez, or FES, or whatever it is you kids are calling it these days. Anyway, uh, I just want to jump right in. Uh, I've played around with a lot of the RPG Maker titles. I've not really made a whole lot of progress on any of them. Um, and I'm just going to apologize ahead of time about this awesome camera ability, but it's the closest I can really do for this, so. Yeah, let's get right into it. We're just going to go ahead and look like we're creating a brand new map. Now, by comparison to the PC ones, you are going to be very limited as to what you can do, because you can't create custom content here. Um, it gives you options for a lot of things. So just like we're going to make a character, start with an awesome test character. A uh, perfect example is going to be a graphic, so let's just go pick something out here. Uh, now you see we have a bunch of like stock images here of characters, so that looks pretty cool. Uh, the other ones have expressions, I guess he doesn't because he's in armor, but everyone's got like four alternates. Uh, we're going to make King Jesus. Oh, I like the green one better. Alright, and so everyone's got their respective things, if I can find. You know, he's playing on the monsters. Uh, let's see, where did King Jesus go? I don't think this is the same guy. I'm also in the wrong spot. Boop. Okay. King Jesus? Yeah. I think it's okay. Uh, you know, I don't know where he's at, though, so... Oh, there he is. It's the king. Okay. So, things like that. I mean, it's not a super customizable base, but it'll work. Um, other than that, you're going to be working with your touchscreen or the keypad, or the uh, normal buttons. So that does kind of limit you in terms of how fast you're going to get the stuff out here. Alright, King Jesus. Okay, you can get my nickname, doesn't really matter. This stuff's all pretty common as to if you've ever played an RPG Maker before. Um, like most of them, it doesn't start you with any classes. Um... You pretty much have to set all of this yourself, including the level, the weapon they start with. None of these are set either, you're going to have to do all this stuff from scratch. Um, however, what I do like about this, even with it being so limited... Oh, I didn't save them. Okay, so let's just jump right into the skill slot here. So what's really neat about this is that whenever you come in, you're going to get the options to make... Is it going to be a death blow or a magic? So you might go in here and be like, oh, I'm going to name it the... Go... Now the question is, what does the G do? Well, it probably hurts, so we'll put that out there. We'll make it a uh, rock. That sounds G like. Now, how much damage do we put? I'm just gonna guess like a thousand, because that's that seems reasonable. Uh, uses like uh, twenty-three magic, I think. Okay. We got our other settings here. Gotta give it a cool animation. That seems good like. Alright, perfect. Now we have good. Now, if you want to make something realistic, you can either do that, or you can start by looking at one of these samples, and it'll kind of give you an idea. So we got, like, our damage up here. Shows 50 damage. Now we know our thousand's a little ridiculous for considering that's an explosion of some sort. In fact, I think Meteor is like, yeah, 700, so for people like me that don't really know the number game here, it's nice to have something to reference. I prefer making the story and the narrative and everything, and then coming back to this. So the samples are amazing for me. Uh, the same goes for the monsters, it goes for the equipment, the uh, weapons, everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull up my file at the second, not very far along exactly, but... So, like, I just went ahead and I slowly imported all the monsters, all the weapons, and everything. Made a party of me and Wolf Queen Akia, of course, because why not? And uh, that's probably about enough of that portion. Let's just go to the map settings. And uh, let's go to the test. Now, this is pretty straightforward overall. Um. You know, we're not, we're not doing events right now. That's a different tab, actually. But we do have 
kind of just picking out what you want to do here. Except that is event placement. I take that back. Oh, never mind. Okay, sorry. But you're a little confusing still. Alright, so you click on your little painter's tool, and uh, you have your options of what you want to lay down. This is just your ground layer stuff. So let's just expand the water out in the middle of the island by accident, because that's reasonable. Uh, grass is okay, though. Yeah, grass, alright. We can live there. Alright, so that. So, anywho. Um, yeah, map making is very straightforward, very basic. Uh, as you see up here, the category is fantasy. Uh, you may have seen that before in a couple other spots. Right now, as of the release, that is the only category that we have. Uh, but it is reasonably vast. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but if you're going to make a fantasy-based game, you've got quite a bit to do it with. So then you go into those. Uh, then you've got like, your structures, which why can't I find? Oh, I'm in the wrong kind of map for that. That's why. Okay, so let's just back out here. We'll go... Um, What's kind of neat is, first off, you can just get straight to the event screen from here. Uh, so, I have my snakey dude. And his name is Steven. Uh, it's pretty crazy, but if you want him to do things, you just have your basic stuff here, like him walking around, for example. Um, change out your event content. That's where your event list is going to be that you might be more familiar with from the PC versions. Right now, I've just got a sound effect and uh, him to be like, Hey, I'm Steven. Don't look too far into it. Oh, except I have the wrong two in there. We're going to change that. Okay, anyway. Okay, and then everything else is pretty straightforward here. So we always have the option to go into test play it. Pretty crazy stuff. I know you've never seen test plays before, but I think you guys should be able to contain your excitement. Yay. You know it. All right, here we go. It's a whole world out there. I'm Steven. Don't look too far into it. Put that little sound effect there. Uh, so, anywho, something else I should point out. Right now I've got it set up for some random encounters around here. Um, you just go over to Encounters, and we have all these guys. So I've got Category 1 set up, as you can see, all over the place. And we're going to add a couple blocks just for funsies. Now the goal of this would really be, you want to put certain enemies within certain groups. Um, kind of gauge those off the difficulty or where they're walking at so you might have like group two set out of here that way something a little more difficult might pop up or a certain kind of monster they can only find out there good for quest if they need to uh, beat a certain kind of monster as they're looking around for it instead of just randomly finding it oh yeah they can stick to that tree and you put all the spots around the tree so anyway that's the thing uh let's see here so yeah well actually i'll show you guys the combat system here Weirdly enough, there's not been a lot of videos for this yet, which I find very strange considering the vast amount of RPG Maker stuff in existence. We'll just uh, get a battle initiated here. I've got the bat battle set on rare right now, so it does take a little bit to get a battle going. Here we go. Group Monsters appeared. As you notice, there's nothing on the bottom screen, so we can literally just go to the top screen at this point. I think I gave him nothing, so yeah, okay, that's not going to work out. I'm probably going to die, but that's alright. Alright, and as I die, we can just go back here. Okay, so, the next important part, let's go back to our other screen. Oops, not what I meant to do, but that might be... Okay, we want to go back to, we've got our event settings, um, and I mean that's the same menu we were just in, just pick your map, same thing. Back in that database though. Okay, here's where things get interesting. So your professions, 
Uh, this is one of the only things that I noticed that there weren't tons of tabs for. They've only got 15 in this one, I think. Yeah, 16. So you gotta pick these a little more wisely. Uh, this also has a huge list you can pick from, and thankfully it has all those stats up here that you can kind of get an idea. Whether you want to be a god, or a pirate, or a shaman. That'd be an interesting party. Uh, anyway. So I made a martial artist, which is realistically just a change from the berserker. Berserker? No, brawler. Brawler, that's the one. So, pretty much, it's the same stats and stuff, just the name change and the description change, because I prefer the martial arts concept. Uh, and then you want to set your skills, which are normally blank. So thankfully, we still have those samples. Earlier you saw those were blank, and I went one by one and used every single sample and applied this here. And uh, that's not a terrible process unless you're doing every single one of them and it takes a while, which is understandable. Uh, so just for example, let's go ahead and make one. What would it be a death blow? It's going to be the only one we really need. Got that Hadouken. Bam. Straight out of Street Fighter. Alright, this needs to be fire elements. Um, normal attack. Wait, is that? I don't know what that actually is. One attack. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, yeah, just one attack. Uh, damage we saw earlier that 500 is pretty extreme, so let's just say, like, does 100 damage. Uh, we don't need to worry about how much HP we have. Go to the next tab, hits one person, that's fine. Now th this is actually kind of cool, we can cut in our graphic, uh, have the option of it so you don't have to distract yourself with it if you don't want to, but uh, I personally like it a lot. Need something strike-like. I really enjoy the fact of how easy it is to see these. And what I remember liking, oh there it is, perfect for the Hadouken. Okay. Oh, I never gave it a uh, graphic. Uh, fire is probably pretty accurate. Okay. So, we have a skill we made. We want to use that skill, so we go back to our professions. And uh, we're going to change to the martial artist. Oh, yeah, okay, we'll come back. So, change out that skill. And we have all these tons of options. Skip ahead a little bit. Get the Hadouken. He learns that immediately, level 1. The Cleric probably needs to be able to heal. That's kind of a big deal for Clerics, I hear. Uh, let's see. Holy man, that'd be bad. I don't know how powerful it is, but... Where the hell is heal? There it is. Alright. It's always important to save if you go to that screen. Accidents happen all the time. Okay, so let's just try out. One little test here. If I go to the right thing, that would help. Now, I did not consider giving my characters weapons or clothing to help them be defended, but... I think we'll be at least a little better off with our special abilities here. The group of monsters appeared! Alright, let's use the special skill, Hadouken! Oh, actually, don't probably aim that at the bat. I think the bats are stronger than the slimes. And you don't have your healing for some reason. I don't know what happened to that. That's okay. I probably just didn't save it, didn't confirm it or something. Hadouken! Flash the animation there, and bam! 74 damage! Well, killed my healer! Uh, almost killed my actual guy, that's not good. Beep. Probably should have made this a magic so it actually takes something to use it. Oh, uh, 1 HP! We're gonna use it anyway, because spamming... Spamming saves lives in this scenario. Yeah, look how tough I am beating a bat and a bunch of slime monsters and almost dying. Oh, that, I didn't even know about this. This is kind of cool. Got our menus. 
I don't know why she can't heal, because I thought that was in the cards. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, apparently that was not something I did. That's okay. Alright. Well, besides me just being awful at this, there's only one other thing really left to cover. Um... is the fact that, uh, let's see here, so this game, as you get it, will give you the option to play other people's RPG Maker Fez games. Now the neatest thing about it, you don't even need to purchase this game in order to play those. Once people release them out, there's an app on the eShop, I don't know if it's there yet, or if it's supposed to come out in a week, or what the deal is, but you can play those games for free, as long as somebody else made them. You just go search them out, you download them, and you're like, hey, I'm gonna play this now, and with any luck, it'll be decent, so... I th guys, I think that's right about it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them in the comments. That seems legit. <laughs> like and subscribe, guys. Uh, catch us next time on our probably Let's Play Resident Evil 4 video, which you'll see here at the end, or uh, one of our other awesome videos, maybe something on the Switch. This is Wolf King Ka from Super Shy Guy Gaming, signing out. <laughs>